Welcome everybody to race one of the Team GP series. Starting with Division 3. I decided to go Division 3 to 1. Division 1 is the main event. So of course it only makes sense. So we're here at Daytona for the first ever Team GP series race. Where we will see the 18 drivers of the 6 teams here in Division 3. Don't know who Division 3 is? There's your Division 3 drivers. Let's go qualifying. Also, it will be a short, for every race, in this race, be a short 10 laps. Because, I don't know, it just makes sense. Alright. And on the pole will be O'Neill Baldwin in the 22 car. Side next to him is Andrews in the 24. Alright, let's continue here. Uh, Fadden and the one. Oh, almost went too far. Benson in the f and the eight, one of the eighteens. Riley in the forty-eight is top five. Eighteen cars, Daytona, ten laps. Green flag is out. Baldwin takes him to the flag, and he gets a good start. Sort and sweet races here, 10 laps with these 18 guys. Nice start for most of the drivers. The bottom line's got a good run, though. Got what? The top three are now single file, trying to go to the top four, maybe? Andrews and the number 24 going down for the lead on turn 3. He's going to get it coming off of turn 4. With the number 1. A Fadden behind him. And Andrews will lead the first lap starting 2nd. A lot of squirrely driving I noticed. Reaching 200 miles per hour, 201 miles per hour, entering the corner, we're at full speed now. In the turns at least, they're bound to go faster on the straightaway. 202, here comes the one of Fadden. He's going to get help from the 48 of Riley. The 24 is going to be left for that. There's the number 24's teammate, one of them. That's Gorman. In the card 24. I don't know exactly what to call that one. It's going to be Fadden leading the lap. And the last last place car is actually a 24 car. So. I don't know. It seems like teams might be doing good. Fadden's got a lead. He's got a teammate in fourth place right now. Of Carter in the McDonald's number one. 24 almost didn't go down in time. But he's got down there. I see 248s, 239s. I see a mixture. Some are good, some are bad. Uh, about two Givers are in the front, one's in the back I noticed for most of these teams. But I do see the Belkin number one coming up. The question is, if there's a teammate first and second, will the teammate in second go for the pass on the last lap? You only got 10 laps, we're on lap 4. Top 4, single file. Here comes the 24 of Gorman going for the lead as you enter turn 3. The two number 1 cars stay together on the high side. 24 is going to get help from the 39 of Jamie Rose. And the high side will not be good enough. For the one cars, they're keeping up faster than the other cars on the high side, though. Gorman leads the lap. And they're still side by side for the lead. The high side, maybe the one cars know how to run the high side a little bit. Haven't seen that the first half of the race until now. I see the, 40, the green 48 of, let me see, Schamberger. 
was looking low. He's currently the second car, the third car now. And the bottom line. And the one cars are going to start going back. Gorman leads another lap with Jamie in second still and Schamberger in third. And there's Stewart in the other 39 car. Because I'm kind of unclear of who's going to win this race or who's going to win the race team wise. Well, team wise, it's a very weird thing to say because they're still race winners. Team championship, though. There's no driver's championship. And 39 looking high, maybe, Rose. But doesn't do anything with Schamberger and Stuart behind her. I see all three one cars up here, but two are on the high side. And the high side slowing down. Now, after trying to get the low, the low side, run for their money. 39 looking high just a little bit again. Maybe get together with uh, her teammate of Stuart, who's in fourth. 48 looks low a little bit. It goes back up. Same with Stuart. There's Carter in the one car. And... Rose looking for her. Looked for something there. Entering turn three. But nothing came of it as Gorman went down in time before anything could happen. Top 5 single file, top 6 single file now. The one car of Fadden finally took something. Here comes Rose down low, entering turn 1 here on lap 8. Going for the lead. Has help from the Belkin number 1 of Carter. Who also has help of the number 1 of Fadden, teammates. The McDonald's number 1 though is not in that lane. Gorman, still with the lead on the high side, has advantage in entering turn, but three of them, Schamberger, 39 and another 24, are actually going to go out of the, get out of the lane that Gorman was in. That's going to give a disadvantage to Gorman, but they got back, I see a little three wide action back there. Rose is going to lead the lap, finally getting past Gorman, two laps to go. Rose is in the lead, Gorman in second, Carter in third, Fadden in fourth, and Schamberger's in fifth. A uh, few drivers we haven't seen most of today. The, those two 18 cars up here. They've been in the back most of the day. Two laps to go and they finally decide to make a move. Let's see if that's going to be good or bad for them. It's Jamie Rose. Got the lead. Carter's in second. Has a teammate behind him in the number one car of Fadden. And third. As we're going to come off turn four. And we're going to get one lap to go. White flag is out. I see Bob Una in the 18, making an appearance finally up front. Same with Chavez. All right, we got one lap to go. We got Rose in second, uh, Rose in first, while Carter and Fadden, number one teammates in second and third. Are they going to work together to get past Rose? We're on the first and second turns here. Exiting turn two, we're on the front straight away, back straight away. No move so far by the one cars. Neither are the teammates. Oh, the two one guards work together. Oh, but Fadden going low. Three wide in the middle of the turn. On the last lap for the lead. Fadden with the help of the 18 of Una. I thought teammates were going to work together. They did it. He's left alone. It's going to be it's going to be Fadden winning at Daytona with the help of Una on the 18. And his teammate Carter is going to finish third. And here I thought teammates were going to work together on a team GP. I think not. Uh, that was a good finish. We got three wide for the lead on that final turn. That was pretty good. Here's your results. Close by Fadden. And number, team number one getting the win. Una second. Carter third. Chavez fourth. Rose moves down the fifth at the leading. Starting and leading. Bob in 6, Gorman had a fast car in 7, Soundness is 8th, Schamberger who had a great car as well in ninth. Benson in 10th, there's your top 10, and you can see the rest of them down there in the final 8 cars. What a good race for Division 3. Uh, Fadden with the win, 
that's going to help the team one's chances. But those two 18 cards in second and fourth, will this be a coming of the season for Division Three, and who will move up to Division Two after 10 races? We'll see. Congratulations to Fadden and Team Number One on winning this race. We'll see you for the Division Two race. Welcome everybody back at Daytona for Division Two at Daytona. Here's your cars, your teams, all 18 drivers, and let's see who's going to get the pole. The pole's going to be Joshua Sakuli in the 31. Gets the pole for the first Division Two race. Let's see if that's going to help him out in the long run. Arnold, number fifth, starting second. Oskin third. Handley fourth. Parks fifth. That's your top five. Uh, yeah, let's get this started. Oh, okay, just in time. Let's do this. Joshua Cooley is going to bring us to the green flag. Green flag is out. Ten laps at Daytona for the first Division Two race. Sakuli with a good start. We saw that in the Division Three race. The first, the pole sitter got a very good start, and still see Oskin in the UPS 99 coming the second place here with Parks behind him. In the 17, Parks has teammate of Naka behind him. So you got two 17 cars behind each other. I mean, I would say they want to work together, but after that Division Three race, I, I I don't know. And coming down to the lead, the first lap is Sakuli. The pole sitter leads the first lap. Drivers maybe think about trying moves here. Top three single file now. Not much going on in the front. Oskin stays behind the 31. No, he doesn't. Oh, this is the move we saw that won the race. Actually, in Division 3. Oskin tries to make a pass, but then Parks makes a pass, making it three wide. Parks has teammate behind him of Naka. And Parks will lead lap number two. That was the race winning move in Division 3. That was a lap two leading move in Division 2. So maybe they weren't wrong on this draft. 17 teammates of. Parks and Naka, first and second, followed by Macklin in the 56, Oskin in the 99, and Han TJ Handley in the number five car, going now going for that spot, fifth place it looks like. Reigns in the 29, Bochard in the 31. Parks, whoops, Parks leads the next lap. Got to mention in this series, leading does not matter. You don't get any bonus points for leading a lap or, to, or extra laps. It's all about, uh, you know, finishing here. So, yeah, like I said, it's a team effort. That didn't mean anything to one of the drivers, though, in Division 3. Fadden, who got the win. Naka going, going under teammate, uh, his teammate of Alex Parks. For the lead, has help from TJ Hanley in the five. And Naka will lead the lap. We're on lap five now. Macklin's on the high side, trying to help Parks get up back up there. There's Zane in the Geek Squad 99. Staying back there. Handley not going to get the lead. Naka will stay with the lead here. Now I know that the high side isn't as fast. But 
Sometimes you just gotta make a good move. Not gonna lead to another lap. Oskin made his finds his way back down into the bottom lane. Now in third place behind TJ Hanley in second place. Who's following the leader of Naka. I saw some squirreliness back there in the back of the pack. Looks like a 17 and a 29 car. TJ Hanley in the walk wheel number five is gonna go for the lead. I would say he has help from the 31 of Bochard, but Bochard not too close to him to actually give him a draft. But that will be TJ Hanley leading the lap barely over Naka. Caillou, Kalk, Kaya, somebody. And we're going to go three wide for the lead. Once again, that's going to be Bochard in the Rain X 31. Cohen for the lead. Nobody's cleared. I see 299 cars back there. That's a Team Swedish Racing, I believe. Still three wide for the lead as we enter turn three. These guys are not giving up. Naka, Hanley, Bochard. Naka losing spots now. Three wide for fifth place between 299s and the 17 car. Bochard will lead the lap. Looks like Naka might start losing spots. He's got a he's got a lane on the straightaways, but he doesn't got a lane on the turns. They're pushing him out. Actually, teammate Alex Parks is actually kind of pushing him out of the draft. Got three laps to go. Got Bochard in first, and Zane at the 99 car in second. Sacco, his uh, Zane's teammate in the fourth now actually. And there's Fred Rogers in the five. One of the fives. Okay, we're going to come down. Two laps to go. Two laps to go with Bochard in the lead. Zane and Sacco, teammates of Team 99. The Team Swedish Racing Team, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but... I believe that's the team name. Uh, two number five cars back there. And, oh, unexpected. Zane goes down for the lead. Teammate Asako does not help him. He'll stay on the high side, lose spots, as the range in the 29 will go help the number 99 car take the lead. 99 barely leads the lap. White flag is out. Side by side for the lead. We will be entering turn one now, side by side with the 99 and 31. Zane, Bochard, first, second. Will Range be able to make a move here on the final lap? I think Zane might have made a perfect move. This will not give enough time for Range, or yeah, for Range possibly to actually take the lap, take the win. Coming off turn number four, Zane's in the lead. Reigns will not make a move. Reigns is going to stick in second. Zane with the win in Division 2 Daytona race number one. Zane made a perfect move on the lap before. That would not give Reigns enough time to make a check for the lead as we see throughout the race at Daytona. Zane with the win, Reigns is in second, Fred Rogers in third, Bochard fourth, JT Hanley in fifth, Sacco sixth, TJ Hanley seventh, Arnold in eighth, Sakuli ninth, Reigns finish up your top ten. There's two Reigns by the way, I keep forgetting that, but the Reign, two of the Reigns finish there. And but I want to say which team showed the most potential would be the f number five team as they're the only team. With all three members in the top 10, top 7, if you want to get technical. That was Division 2 at Daytona. We will see you at they Here's again for Division 1, the Elite Rays. Congratulations to Zane and the T99, number 1, T99 car for the win. Welcome, everybody, to the main event of Daytona.
the Division One, the Elite. Show us why you're the Elite, guys. This is Daytona, and this is race number one. This is hopefully to see what's to come. Here's your drivers in Division One. If you did not watch the draft, on the pole will be Henrietta Fitzwater, and the number two will lead us to the green flag. Leaving us Wath, Watt in second, Hamilton third, Dodd fourth, Kennedy five, Tommy Turbo in your number six, and starting six, I mean. Alright. Coming off turn number four for the green flag with Henrietta Fitzwater. She will lead us to the green flag in her Miller Lite number two. Here we go, green flag is out for race one at Daytona of the Division One, the Elite. Not as good as a start as the Division Two or Three pole sitters I noticed for Henrietta. The car behind her whoop, of Hamilton is actually still behind Fitzwater Australia Racing in the lead right now with the number two of Henry Fitzwater. And that's Team Conquistador, the number 16. You see teammates in the 14 of Watt and Kennedy. And that's going to be Hamilton going for the lead. Coming off turn four, who will lead lap number one? Looks like it will be Hamilton in the 16. And there we go. Hamilton leads the lap. Here at Daytona. First lap at Daytona. These cars are already going faster. They're the same cars in Division 2 and 3, but these cars are going faster than Division 3 cars already. The two must have not gotten that run, so they're actually faster already. I didn't notice the speed on Division 2, though. Watching Nick Kennedy in the 14. Nick, Nick Kennedy, I believe? Yeah, I think it is. But Kennedy in the 14. On the low side, second in line. Uh, that's Fitzy in the number 11. Rian Fitzy, if I'm correct. And there's McKil McKilble in the 14 teammates. Hamilton leads another lap. Has the 14 behind him. Kennedy in second. Uh, the 14 of McCubble. 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 Went low. And three wide for the lead. Entering turn three. That's going to be Free and Fitzy going to the lead. With the help of Kennedy's teammate McCubble. And Fitzy will lead this lap. Going three wide. For that lead. And we'll be able to. Barely. Clear the 14 of McCubble. And uh, we want printing. Some more something about printing number 14. The red, white, and blue number 42 of Lyman. Kennedy. The Bass Pro Shops. And McGee in the 88. Uh, Lyman and Fitzy was able to ditch McKillable for that second place spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Doyle, the 42 car up here, trying something. That's Ryan Fitzy in the lead. Two car breakaway with Lyman. There's Marty McGee in third place in the Amp 88 with Doyle, teammate to Lyman, the 42, trying to go for fourth. See the 14 teammates up there. Looking for room, some of the drivers look like. See the other, see that's 11 of. Oh, that's Brad Lewis, actually. That's the number two team car. He's the best number, the uh, Fort's Water, Fitzwater, Fort's Water, 
Fitzwater Australia Racing. And there's Dabrowski. Driving for Team Kisendor. And here comes Lyman in the 42 on his own for the lead. Trying to get past Fitzy. And we'll make it. There's Cone, teammate of Fitzy for Team 11. Helping out the 42 car. Trying to. Who will lead this lap though? It will be. I think Fitzy led that lap. Rian Fitzy still led that lap. Yep, this still did. That car might be fast on the high side, but it hasn't been good. No car has been good enough on the high side yet. So, Lyman now clearing it has two Team Eleven cars behind him, battling for second. The both of them sports clips, and there you go. Cone will take, will try to take the lead, and will it looks like. Coming off, turn four, head into the flag, got three laps to go. Cohen's in the lead for Team 11. Brad Lewis for Fitzwater Australia Racing. Currently in third place, second in line under the, uh, behind the 11 car, the leader. Haven't seen much of him, uh, Brad Lewis. Uh, teammate. Uh, Zachary Fitzwater Sr. I see is back there. Bad, I mean back there. Hasn't really made a move all day. But, eh, never know. I see a few cars I haven't seen today yet. Johnson in the 42. Fitz, the other Fitzy in the 11. Wilson in the 16. There's Chris Dodd. Started high up. Fell back early. Got two laps to go now. Looks like he's trying to make his way back up there. Coming off turn number two, off to the back straight away. One and a half, one and a half laps to go. And that's going to be Brad Lewis in the red, white, and blue number two going for the lead. We'll have help from Johnson and Fitzy. See 211, 216 cars right there. Probably, probably not too bad. Coming off turn four, here we go. White flag is out for Brad Lewis and the number two. Fitzwater Australia Racing. He'll make the block to the 11, make sure he, he can't get by, and we'll make it down in time to get in front of the 42 of Johnson. Coming off turn number two, we have half a lap to go. Will Johnson make a move? Will Fitzy make a move? Uh, Fitzy is will make a move. Uh, not going to be good enough for first, probably, though. That's going to be for that's going to be a race for second. Will Fitzy have enough momentum for trying to battle Brad Lewis for the lead? No, he will not. Fitzy will stay in second. Coming out to the track, path, Brad Lewis for the team number two will take the win for division one. That's Fitzwater Australia Racing. Also, sorry if I don't say every team name. I forget sometimes, but like the team number one team who won so the Orange Knights in Division 3. But congratulations to Brad Lewis and Force Water, Fitz, why I see Force Water? Fitzwater Australia Racing on the win in the first Division 1 race here at Daytona. Uh, Brad Lewis for the win. H. Fitzy in second. Johnson third. Wilson fourth. Cone coming fifth. Dodd sixth. Dabrowski in seventh. Kennedy 8th, Spitzwater Sr. coming in ninth, and Lyman in 10th. Congratulations to the number 2 team on the pole and the win. Two different drivers. Fitzwater and Rietta actually finished last despite getting on the pole. And it looks like Brad Lewis started last and won the race. They flip-flopped. But, go figure. Hope you have time had watching the first races of all of them. This was Daytona, race number one for Division 1, 2, and 3. Congratulations to all the winners. You're all in the All-Star race. And you most likely are leading the points officially. We'll see about that. Have you had fun watching. We'll see you next time at race number two.